Welcome back to the clubhouse of Hunt Club TV, the lovely Wellington Arms the Wellington North Hotel Lake. on Wellington Square in North Adelaide. Good Cheers. to see you, Mona. Good to see you. Congratulations too. first on your uh, grand final victory. We saw Mona salute at the uh, rugby at Victoria Park race course. Um, he's just come off the Mad Monday bender, Mad Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday. So, so I'm gradually getting over the, uh, the post premiership aids that I managed to pick up after drinking about a squilling pints over the weekend. But the glorious old collegians stomped to victory. They did, they did. And we've possibly got the biggest week of sport of the year. It is pretty big. So, AFL Grand Final. Swans against Hawthorne. My one is on the Swans. Two dollars seventy-five at the moment. Two dollars seventy-five, and it's supposed to be absolutely pissing down on Grand Final day in Melbourne. They reckon fifteen degrees, rain, probably hail. I reckon that's got to play into the hands of the Swannies, and uh, you know the silky skills of Buddy and Cyril might be might, might be missing. And I reckon at two seventy-five. Look, I reckon the Hawks might still get up at two seventy-five. There's plenty of value around the Swans, and that's what we're betting on. A bit of Norm Smith medal. Sam Mitchell's favourite at six bucks. Followed by Josh Kennedy at 7.50 and Buddy's at 8.50. I just... Oh, Goodsy. Adam Goods, 13 bucks. As That's a, better as than has won two Brownlows and uh, is probably the Swanee's second or third best every week. He's paying 13. He's on about the seventh line of betting and if you're looking for value at the Norm Smith, I reckon A. Goods. He's obviously uh, an absolute cracking player. I reckon 13 bucks he's a... I reckon I'm on that. We're definitely on that. Yeah, our punters club's on that. Our house is on it. Definitely better of the week. <laughs> it's NRL grand final time. The Bulldogs um, against uh, the Storm. Melbourne, even they though... They off their salary cap dramas. And... Great season. Great season to come back with. But I still fancy the Bulldogs. I think uh, Benny Barber, with his exquisite touch, will uh, will lead the Bulldogs home and it'll be... Uh, yeah, happy days. They're at two dollars and five, so the the, the the valleys with them, while the storm are at a dollar eighty. Bet for me on this is uh, the bulldogs by one to twelve points, which is three dollars and five. So get on that. That is good. Definitely. That is good. That is good. And uh, rugby union, there's still a bit of uh, rugby championship going around. Bit of rugby championship going on. The Saffers play the Aussies. The Saffers have got home advantage and are the favourites at dollar uh, thirty two, with Australia at three dollars forty five. Kiwis will do a job on the Argies, although it is in Argentina. And the line, they've given 12, 12 and a half points to the Argies, which I quite like. So $1.92 on I the don't, I really don't know what Fremantle and West Coast complain about, you know, because when you have to go to Argentina to play, that's an away game. What is our get, o- get over yourself. Get over yourself. Get over yourself. Travelling for two and a half hours from quite the it's anyone's game in the 2020 World Cup. At the moment, Sri Lankans are home favourites at $5.25. Um, with the Saffirs, and I mean, it really, I, I quite like the Pakistanis at $6.50, Indians at sixes. Interestingly, I don't know if it's just a coverage or if it's just me or whatever, but you know, it's, turned it's, it's turned into the Who Cares Cup. It really has turned into the Who Cares Cup. The test matches are still catching plenty of viewing, the one day World Cups are still huge, but look, whatever it is, it IPL's kind of disappeared, the T20's disappeared. Just, Probably too much cricket. Roll, roll on the test matches. Much keep, it, keep it traditional. Now, um, it is very, very well and truly spring carnival, and there are shitloads of fantastic races on around this time of year. Um, this week is no exception. We've got a double header. We've got Mooney Valley Friday night and Caulfield on Sunday, and, uh, and a bit of action up at Rose Hill as well. So we'll start with the Moyer Stakes. That's uh, race six at Mooney Valley um, tomorrow night. And... Thank God you're here. Thank God you're here. Oh, it's probably well, good eight. each way value. We like I like Elite Falls at eight. Uh, thank God you're here at sixteen. The favourite is Buffering at two eighty. I reckon that's under the odds. Buffering's a great horse. It should take the biggies, but I'd like it paying more than that. Thank God you're here two ninety for each way bet, which I definitely definitely quite like a piece of. Yeah, and look at in race seven at Mooney Valley is the Stutt Stakes. Uh, Piero will take that in a canter. It's only paying right. a buck twenty. You're not going to get much better value unless you just ratchet that into whatever else you bet on. I can't see anything else, even Jamando going anywhere near it. Um, the JRA Cup Race 8, Mooney Valley. Uh, excluded is the favourite at 270, but again, I think it just looks way too under the odds. Um, we like King Diamond at 11s. We look Nolan up on top. And Caulfield on Sunday, this is where it really starts to get interesting. The, the, the Sir Rupert Clark Stakes, um, which is Race 6 in Caulfield. <sighs> Look, moment of change is the favourite at 380. Again, that looks a bit under the odds. I like Pinwheel at 7s. I quite like We're Gonna Rock 
That's at six fifty, two dollars thirty eight for the place. And big AFL grand final weekend. We all like a second effort, and there is a second effort racing in the uh, we're at the Clark Stakes, paying eighteen. So each way on the second effort for uh, just in honour of the AFL granny weekend. The Shannon Stakes is the other big one uh, in Sydney at Rose Hill on the weekend. So um, Fat Owl again, dollar thirty five is the favourite in that one, and should rock that home in a canter. Rolling pin would be a reasonable chance at eight fifty to knock him over if you want a bit of value. If you're looking at watching support all weekend long, Ryder Cup kicks off uh, tomorrow, oh, Friday. Golf. Basically, US and... Oh, Everyone knows how reliable betting on golf is. Very reliable. And, but the US are strong favourites of $1.70. Bit of, value, bit of value for the European side at $2.55. I'm on the, the most team, um, most player points. Uh, McElroy's at 10s and Ian Poulter's at 15s. Poulter's great in the Ryder Cup. Good experience. experience. Curiously, though, love playing I mean, I know it's a home course advantage for the Yanks and all that, but in a two-horse race, when you've got Europe are paying two dollars fifty-five for the win, when they've got four out of the top five players in the world, but only one of them's won more than one multi, uh, one major. This is not a major. This is the right cup. Home advantage is big. Home, home advantage is big. big. I just don't know if it's that big, It'll be especially big. when we've seen Rory at Al taking you out after. US tournaments on the PGA Tour. I just want to see a punch up on the green. It's all I'm after. A good punch up on the green. <laughs> um, I think that's it. That, that's it. Oh, Mo- Moon's Magic Multi. Oh, Moon's Magic Multi. Bulldogs by 1 to 12 into South Africa, into Europe with the Ryder Cup, paying $10. Ten dollars twenty six. 26. I reckon you should put that into Adam Goods and it'll be paying $130. Enjoy. Where on that. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.